Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest IX. So, in the last episode, we saved Marionette from the Tyrantula. Unfortunately, though, uh, the thieves called her a monster, and now she's figuring, like, she can't live Marion's life, so she decided to give up the fig, and she returned to being a regular doll. But, before she left... There you are! I've been waiting for you. I expect you've been busy being showered with gratitude by Miss Bloom, have you? Really? You didn't find her before she left on her journey. She's a standoffish one, alright, that young lady? She could have at least thanked you for rescuing her before heading off. Anyway, as promised, this old vessel is yours now. You sell them wherever you please. Take her far and wide. She likes to travel, this one. Go on then, climb aboard. There's fine wind today. You wouldn't want to waste it. Okay, so... Have a safe journey, lad. I'll be praying for you. Thank you, sir. But yeah, we finally got the ship. Also, I wanted to say, like, when I found the metal metleys inside that cave... Oh, P2 acquires a ship. But I found the metal metleys in there. And the last... Uh, episode that we did we didn't beat one but and the uh, in between these episodes I actually did a little grind with them so everyone has like a few more levels than they did because metal slimes give out a lot of exp so everyone should be a little bit stronger to go on ahead we bet we blacked ourselves a boat at last what's a black Stella come on now let's set sail and see what we can see other than the sea if you see what I mean oh if you want to see every if everything ship shape uh, a bit ships while we're sailing, just press the B button to hit the deck, okay? When we're ready to get going again, press the A button next to the steering wheel on the deck, and it's anchors away. You want to get off, just steer straight for the shore, and with the control pad, you'll be able to walk the plank to dry land. And once you're off the boat, you'll be able to see what it is on the path. Okay, so if you can't find it, just hit the Y button. Right, that's all the selling 101 course done and dusted with. Let's soar across the sea to our sea soar. I don't like anything that you just said. It made me confused. Alright, we're gonna disembark here. We're gonna see if there's anything here that we need to find out. I'm so tired from searching for the grotto marked on this treasure map. I can barely move. Where can it be? Have you heard of treasure maps? Oh, treasure maps. Guys, look, look, look. They show entrance uh, to grottos where you can find all kinds of amazing treasure. If you got one, you can take a look at it by selecting treasure routes from the IS section of the menu. Pick a map and go, uh, select Go Treasure Hunting and it will appear on the top screen. And it's off to find the grotto it shows. When you find the place parked on the map, the excavation point will appear. And if you press the save button, the grotto entrance will open. There's some really tough bosses at the bottom of the grottos, but if you can't beat them, you can always try again later. Anyway, all this talk this time yeah I need a rest okay so we don't exactly have a treasure map not yet anyway uh, I got some leather leather gloves we can go up here thought for sure that this is where the treasure maps were you are the just desert it's up the uh, coast north of here over the east of Newit Isle they say there's a last there whose face could light up a hundred lighthouses the desert queen who lives in the Mirage Mahal oh I see what you did there Mirage Mahal, the Taj Mahal. Yeah. Ooh, Men of Wars. Well, uh, oh yeah. P2 aren't flailing nails and got victimized. It deals heavy damage to poison or par or paralyzed monsters. But they're not all paralyzed yet, so we don't actually need them. Uh, use Multi Fist. Ah, uh, yes. P2 is super fast. Gabriel has some multi-fist techniques, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, they, uh, they've all grown, like, pretty big. I might go back to that cave if there's more, like, uh, slimes to be had to defeat, I suppose. Uh, let's see if we can go here. What is this? Oh, seashells. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. Oh! We're so strong now that they don't actually want to fight us. I should have did multi fist instead. That would have hit them both and got rid of them. Ooh, Jen coming up there with the critical hits. That's cool. Okay. 
she's the one that actually defeated the, uh, the, uh, the, was it the Tyrantula, if you guys haven't watched that one yet. If you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, can we go here? What's here? Evencloth. Oh, we need those. Whoa. Jeez. Ew, don't look at Gabriel like that. That's disgusting. Uh-oh. Jen, look out. Give him a duck and sandwich. Oh, never mind. Oh, that looks like a spot. Let me see if I can get around there, though. There's a big old wall we can't really get through. Here's something. Anyway, uh... Oh, that's creepy. Ah, that's really creepy. Ah, that's super creepy. Get away! Uh, let's see. Where do we go? We can't go up there. Oh. Deary B, I don't like that thing coming at you. It's a Mangiti. This thing looks horrible. I don't like the look of it at all. It looks gross. Woof. Burn it with fire. Uh, hit it in the face, Gabriel. Knock it over. Oh, never mind. You're a pushover. I thought you were supposed to be strong, and you're not. Oh. Hello. You're not gonna follow us, right? Yeah, they're following. If you touch me, you're dead. If you touch me, you're dead. Well then. Oh, wait. Never mind. They're actually quick. Oh, no. Don't. 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 Ah! Gabriel! Well, now we're, now we're just not gonna let you get away. You can't down our friend like that and expect to go away scot free. Alright, toxic dagger. Hit him. Use bang because I don't think Crackle's gonna do much on him. You will all die. You will not get away with your shenanigans. Uh oh. Don't hit Taco. Drain magic? You suck. Alright. First of all, you take that. Take this. Use bang again just in case that doesn't work. Brrr! Do something about that. Yeah, you're frozen with fear. Ugh. That's what we get. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gabriel. We'll bring you back to life. Don't you worry. Ah, uh, here's something. We might be able to get through it here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go in there. Go in there. Hello. Can you help my dad, friend? Ah, hello, and welcome to Swine Dipples Academy. I am the headmaster, and you are the, uh, detective, I take it? No. Ah, ha, ha, very droll, but I'm not quite so green that I'm cabbage-looking. You're, a uh, a uh, skilled sleuth, and no mistake. Right, well, we can't very well stand out here all day, uh, yakking now, can we? Shall we walk and talk? But I'm, I'm not who you say I am. Now, the issue is us is this. Another one of our pupils has uh, disappeared. That makes two now. If it happens again, I rather fear that the Academy's uh, reputation may be called into question. Early is rather vexing. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about, though. But, uh, now that we have an experienced detective on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. A simple missing person's incident shouldn't be- uh, shouldn't trouble a season, a uh, sleuth like yourself, should it? Of course not. But I'm not a sleuth. What are you talking about? But forgive me, where are my manners now? How does one address such a renowned, uh, gumshoe as yourself? Of course, of course, Inspector, uh, P2! Must have heard it a thousand times. How could I, uh, forget? I 
still don't know what you're talking about. Now, Inspector P2, I hate to talk of money, but uh, please accept a small down payment on your services. P2 receives 2,000 gold coins. No, all, all I've told the student body is that a new pupil will be arriving, so your uh, true identity is safe. Hope you don't mind. I thought they might be more likely to uh, open up if they thought of you as one of their own. Here is your uh, uniform. I must remind you that uh, infringements of uniform policy will result in detention. Requires a Swine Temple Blazer. We have prepared a room for you in the student uh, dormitory. Feel free to use it whenever you need should arise. What? I've heard it came the wrong end of a stick, but he must have framed himself with it as well. He thinks you're a detective. Well, it doesn't matter. If something strange is going on, you can bet your bottom's all down to a fig. Alright then, Inspector P2. Let's get sleuthing. I bet we can crack over this case in no time. Detectiving's all about legwork, so you better have a look around and see what everyone's got to say for themselves. Okay, but before we actually do that, I need to go ahead and... Oh, wait, hold on. Apparently, I need to put this on. Uh... Alright. I've got the Swine Temples Academy thing. It's a book called, uh, Barco's Travels. I do... It's a huge book, it looks like a very long- I don't like long reads. No. I don't want to read that. Anyway. Here, let me go up here. Oh wait, is this not the way to it? Oh, it is. Okay, let's see how Gabriel back. Uh, could you heal our friend, please? Oh, wait. Sorry, not not that. I meant to do, uh... Yes. 230 gold. Well, it's high rate robbery, but Gabriel's more important to us than money, so we're going to bring him back to life. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's save it right here. And in the next episode... We'll find out what's going on in, in Swine Temple's Academy. Because that's just what we should do. Anyway, uh, I successfully recorded your adventure log. So I guess without further ado, we'll stop it right there. So thank you everyone for joining us. If you all oh, joining me, if you like what you saw, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what kind of game you want us to play next. And I'll see if I can play it for you guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see this kind of stuff every day. And, as always... We'll see you then.